Queen stays out of drama, but there was a lot of accusations from Clarence's ex. You know what, Queen? Speak your motherfucking mind. We're gonna get straight to it because this is a 30 minute video and you know when I talk, I'ma talk. Queen Nyjah uploaded a video called, Am I a Homewrecker? My side of the story. Girl, let's get to it. Are y'all ready to react? Cause I am. Let's get it. What's up Queendom? It's your girl Queen. I'm back with another video and I'm sure from the title you can already tell it's gonna be a story time or mm -hmm. something of that sort. I'm gonna keep it 100% real with you guys. I feel bad. I really did. I didn't feel bad because I'm guilty of anything that she was insinuating that I did. But I felt bad because a woman is hurting. A woman's heart is broken. First of all, that's just how my heart is set up. Like, I, I, I don't know, like I'm just super, super nice. And as a woman, like I could feel, I could feel it. Like I, I could feel, you know, where she was coming from. And I've been in a place like that before. Exactly. Where, you know, I was heartbroken or like, you know, something like that. I don't know if she, she's still heartbroken, but I, I don't know. It definitely but looked I, that way. I feel like I wanted to come here and just basically give you guys my point of view of things because I feel like in a way my character could be misinterpreted or misconstrued. And I have a brand. I'm a singer and, and I don't want to be looked at as like that kind of person that uh, maliciously just right. does things to people. Um, and I also have a family brand. I have a family brand. I have two kids. You know, we got the Royal Family Channel, and I think it's, I have every right to come and clear my name as well, just like everyone else. I need you guys to understand the place I was in when I first ever spoke to Clarence at all. Um, it's been said a lot and continuously that I cheated um, and I was doing something sneaky, but truthfully, you guys, of course, I was legally still in a marriage. Right. But it was a situation where, like, and this is the thing. Yes, that would be considered infidelity in the court of law because you are in contract with another person in a legal partnership, marriage. But the bitch was motherfucking single. <laughs> the bitch was single and so was he. Even while they were together, Chris was fucking around. But they were single when she met up with Clarence. My ex, Chris was already, he had already been moving single, like a yeah. single man for the longest. Yeah. And you guys know that if you follow my story. Yes. You guys know I know that. That <laughs> after the situation that happened with um, the three girls who came and exposed him for Shit. that whole situation. Mm -hmm. After that, I even like stayed and stuck around. Truthfully, I, I stuck around because for one, I didn't have my own money to leave. I wasn't prepared to leave. I just didn't have my own stuff like my credit was super low uh -huh. it was just so much going on where it made it very hard for me to leave and plus and that's why a lot of women do stay in marriages and relationships it's because number one they have children with them they don't want to break up a family it's more so for the kids so they think than their partner and it's also because they don't have a backup plan they don't have they're gonna leave with nothing no money no home how are they gonna raise their children without that it's gonna be difficult it's gonna be hard but the best thing to do is to fucking leave. You don't want your children to witness a broken home. It's a lot worse than the physical separation. You know, we have a son. We have a son. Um, so when I messaged Clarence, it wasn't like in a, a mm -hmm. sneaky kind of way. Chris and me, we wasn't even like really together. We probably did like maybe one video as a group um, when we was like in the house with Janae and them, but we like, we wasn't really together when we went to Atlanta. He was doing his own thing, and I know I knew he was doing his own thing. Yeah. Um, it was pretty much over to me. Like I feel like once someone is disloyal, and they move single, and they move funny, and they talk to different people, and like they're doing it blatantly where you you know it, and they don't care. It's like at this point. So anyway, That's when I met Clarence, I, I didn't have no intentions or no like I wasn't plotting like yeah. I'm about to message him and then I'm gonna go see him. And you guys, truthfully, I had, I think I was scrolling. I seen Clarence on my Explore page and I had seen him before. I clicked on his page and it was his page. And I was like, oh, this is really his page. 
And I was just scrolling through, and of course, you know, I thought he was a handsome guy. Um, because I had seen him before, and I always thought he was handsome. Um, uh -huh. but I didn't see no girl on his page, you know, I, I didn't see no girl on his page. So when I DM him, it was just kind of, it was like kind of like one of guys be like that though. You got, you always have the female showing off their man. But the man for some reason ain't showing off his girl. And why do you think that is though? Not to say that all men are like this, but those men who don't have a picture of their girl or doesn't have their relationship status on their social media, something's going on. And not to say that you have to put your partner on social media for it to be legit. No, I'm not saying that. But I kinda am saying that. Things were, I don't know. In some way, at least one picture, damn it. Just one. And just let me just DM this person and see, see what's up. Like, not in a way to like be sneaky or like, ooh, like, I'm about to, you know, I don't know. I don't know, honestly, truth be told, I don't know why I did it. I think, I think part of the reason was just because I was just maybe just already feeling down and low and just. Girl, it's okay. You were single. Your husband's out doing his dirt. You found this man attractive. You wanted to have a conversation with the guy. It's okay what, if your intentions was to see what's up, that's okay. You were still doing nothing wrong. By the end of the day, the conversation was still business related. I don't know, I wanted to convert. There was still respect. Someone else, I guess, you know? That's the honest truth. Cause you know, Shit. Chris was doing what he was doing. I just feel, you know? I don't know. I really don't know. But anyway, when we converse, you guys seen the messages, Clarence showed it in his past video. Um, we we were talking very just like it wasn't like flirtatious or anything it was really just talking about what was going on with us and um yeah as you guys can see i did tell him uh, uh i went into detail about what i was going on but he asked me like you know what i'm saying like he said it was getting crazy for him and i was like what is it and i said shit it's getting crazy for me too and when he asked i told him what was going on like and I, I didn't mind telling him what was going on just because I don't know, like, it was already public. It was already public what was going on. Who cares? How else do friendships begin? It's through conversation. It's through talking about your lives, relating to each other. Yeah, you don't gotta explain that much, Queen. So I was like, forget it. And I've always been a super transparent person. I can talk to some a stranger, which is kind of bad sometimes. I can talk to a stranger and literally me too. when they leave, they know so much about me. me I too. know that so bad. So, so I want you guys to know that I didn't do that to, I don't know, get him to feel bad for me or just try to like, I don't know. I, do, I did that with everybody, truthfully. So it's not just Clarence. Mm -hmm. um, I'm the same way. When he told me that he had a girl or whatever, when I was like, you know, you should start YouTube and if you got a girl, you can prank her. And when he told me he had someone, I didn't like try to say, oh, well, actually, I was like, yo, well, why isn't she on your page? Like, you know, girls love that. You should put it on your page, like, so people can know. Brag about her. So, um, Brag about your woman. Show her off. Anywho, though, I followed him. And around that same time when I followed him, I remember getting a call from Chris. And Chris was like, <laughs> why you follow him? Like, and I'm just like, what? Like, why are you mad? Call? Why are you even calling me, checking me? Because you're doing what you're doing. Like, you have no, you have no room to ask me what I'm doing, who I'm following, or anything. You're. They be like that though. They don't want to show you off. They don't want to commit to you. But the second that you see someone else trying to holler at her, now you have something to say. Now it bothers you. Now you want to show her off a little bit. It's a little too late though. Don't you think? And like the way you want to move. I'm gonna move how I wanna move. And, and, and it wasn't flirtatious, you know? I still was explaining to him, like, it wasn't like that. He said he's gonna send mm. the cities and all that stuff. And Chris still felt intimidated. I feel yeah, like it don't cause... matter. A man's gonna think whatever the fuck they wanna think. He's seen how it's he a looked. It's a pride thing. It's an ego thing. He he knew, like, I think I even, like, mentioned him to Chris before because we was, me and Chris would always, like, just kind of vocal about, we didn't smash your passes together, you know? So like I knew what, who he found attractive and he knew who I found attractive. I, I told him. So he had been knew that. He was like, no, no, fuck that, da da da. <laughs> Unfollow him. Even though I didn't feel like I needed to do that, I did it out of respect because I first of all I didn't want no trouble in the house. We were still living together. I ain't, it's not like I had my own uh, like Girl. a lot of money of my own to go take and go move. You know, so I just unfollowed him. I guess to keep the peace because when it when it got crazy with me and him, it got crazy. And it's a lot of things that you guys don't know that went on. I was gonna say, fuck that. How come he can do whatever the fuck he wants? How come he gets to put his pee-pee in another girl's hole? 
whenever the hell he felt like it. But you can't even talk to somebody who lives in a whole different state? Are you kidding me? That's crazy. But what she's speaking of right now makes sense though. She was in an abusive relationship with Chris. So there was consequences to those type of actions, even a conversation with another man. She never really, really, really says it. She kind of hints to it, just like she's hinting to it now. And closed doors, it, get, it got crazy, okay? I'm not gonna say anything, but it got super crazy. I didn't want no trouble like when we got back to the same house. So I was like, okay, forget it. Um, That's, from that point. That, that, that breaks my heart, y'all. Like I, I, I'm a protector of women, okay? I have a sister who's in a, in a serious abusive relationship and I have a friend of mine who was in one and it just that shit hurts me I don't like to see a woman get physically hurt by a man who is stronger you men are really that weak to hit a to hit a female to make yourself feel bigger like really I don't like that shit when we went back to uh, Houston we ended up going back together I don't know, I didn't speak to Clarence. I'm sorry, that should be pissing me off. Or because I just, like I said, I ain't, he had a girl, I ain't want no trouble, I ain't want to like drag it on. But, um, as me and Clarence weren't talking, like things got worse and worse between me and Chris. We wasn't having sex, we wasn't sleeping together in the same bed. He was going out every night, he was doing what he wanted to, he was sleeping with other girls. It was just kind of like, we were kind of like roommates. You know what I'm saying? And I knew, I knew for a fact our relationship was over. He wasn't happy with me, he didn't love, like, he didn't want to be with me, you know? Yeah, he loved her, um, but... But I was still just... He, Chris loved Queen, but he wasn't ready to, like, settle down like that. He, yes, he was married with a child, but he was not ready, y'all. They were young. They were young. They, they came into money, into fame. So Chris was getting more attention from these women. What do you expect? We was kind of just still there, just playing. It's not right, but what do you expect? Like... I was just kind of playing like I was okay with it because like it was nothing else I could really do. Mm -hmm. um, speed it up. Things was getting worse. Um, and one day I was, I think I was scrolling across YouTube and I seen that Clarence had did a Smash Your Pass video. Now me and Clarence had talked about him starting a YouTube channel, <laughs> right? And when I seen he made a YouTube channel, I was you like, happy. oh, so he really did it, you know? That's what's up. And when I went and watched the video, I seen him and um, my doing a smash your pass and I and I didn't even know that my name was in there. I was like, yo, what? Like They sure did. And then what he said, I was like, hold on, wait a minute. Like mm -hmm. I'm kind of a little offended. I ain't gonna lie. I don't blame um, you. I saw that video. So I went to look for him on Instagram and I found out I seen that like I couldn't find him. So I went to my block list like, yo, did I block him? And I know I didn't do it. So I, in my head I'm like, okay, I ain't block him. I know who did it. So I hit <laughs> him up. And I was like, she's talking about Chris, Chris motherfucking sales. Um, I think I commented on his story or something. You guys seen it? Something about the socks, the slippers, or whatever. And then he was like, he he started talking back to me. And I was like, yo, um, what you said? I, I was basically telling him about what he said in the video. Like that was that was funny. Like Frank Red, Frank's Red Hot. Oh, I'm not sweet. He, you know, like just kind of, I don't know, picking at him about what he said. Obviously, at this point, if he's doing a smasher pass on a bunch of girls. Including me, I still didn't see no girl on his page. Like from this, at, wait, wait a minute. Actually, I, I think I watched some more of his videos. Yeah, that's right. I watched some more of his videos besides Smash Your Pass, and he was like, he was a single man. He was doing a Q and A. He was like, he's a single man. So from that point, like I said, I never had seen who he was with ever before. Never seen a picture of or anything. He said he was single. I felt like I was like I. Nigga, my relationship was over, so I was like, oh, okay, you know. So we started talking. Why the fuck now, not? When we started talking on Instagram, like, some more, we, it went over to Snapchat. We started talking on Snapchat. And I was still living in that house, but like I said, felt like I was just a roommate. Like, niggas was moving how they want to move. And yeah, me and Clarence was just conversating, you know? Like, we got a little deeper. We started talking about things that we were going through in like our past. Like I had mentioned to him like what I was going through in my relationship. He had mentioned to me about, he was talking about how he was going through like a toxic kind of situation on and off. And like we was at that point, oh, we, shit. Were talk, we were like confined oh, to friends. My bad. We never spoke about <laughs> sex. We never spoke about anything. And it went from us talking about that 
to really like just fall asleep on the phone every single night. It happens. That's another thing I want you guys to know. I didn't just up and fly to New York like, oh yeah, I'm about to come see you. Me and Clarence was talking on the phone, fall asleep on FaceTime every night for a good, for a good like, I don't know, a month and a half or something like that. And like, mm. it made me, it made, it made me like, it made us like, <laughs> you know, feel for each other a little bit more. I could tell. Mm. I could tell. Mm. He would, he would tell me how he felt like, you know, how he felt different about me and things like that. That's I was what's up. the same. So we started developing like feelings for each other. A liking. Yeah. Possibly feelings. Hey, possibly feelings, you know? Then we spoke about <laughs> Listen. This story is very interesting because I'm going through something similar. So I, I can understand where, what Queen is talking about here. In a video. I can relate to it. We spoke about doing a video together because we felt like it would be a, a good money move for one. We already had like fan pages of people collaging our pictures together. Um, it was crazy, man. And like, we was like, man, they really like, they, people kept saying, I ship y'all, I ship y'all, I ship y'all. So I was thinking in my head, you know, this is great for my channel because I need, I need to get my money up, you know? Um, I have money with the Chris and Queen channel, but I don't consider that to be my money because when I left, I couldn't even have half of that. It's like crazy. I, he, wouldn't, he wasn't giving me half of, of it. And I didn't care at the point because I was just like, listen, I don't want no money or anything. I just really want to be done with this relationship, with this whole thing. So, yeah, I was like, yeah, this is a money move. Maybe I, I come out there and, like, we, we do some videos. First time I went out there, I went with Ari and Vache and Do some other girls. I, was I remember that little New York trip. Girls, it was a girls trip. Go by myself. I know what was like. I know, like. We didn't talk on the phone, but I was still scared. It was New York. I didn't want to go by myself. Mm -hmm. But I still made plans to, uh, you know, go see him for the first time in person. And we seen each other. We didn't do a video that time, but we did see each other. I went back home. I mean, I went back to Houston. I was living with Armand and Trey by this time. And I was working on my videos. And I was just trying to get my bag up. Listen, I was trying to leave. I was trying to get my own apartment. I was going to get my apartment in Houston. Actually, I think me and Ari was talking about moving in together. Um... When I went back to New York the second time, we chose to do our first video together. I remember that. I met his sister, Lee, who had helped me out with a situation um, with medicine. Because I had released medicine on YouTube, which Clarence also encouraged me that I should... She, she connected you with some important people, yes. Stay on, on New Year's because he was just like, you know, you should just go ahead with it. Like this is like a new beginning for you and I was like yeah but I, I was scared because I knew once I released medicine y'all I could never go back to Chris I was like once I do this it's done like because nobody knew that Chris had cheated again I kept that secret because I didn't want to look stupid you know I didn't want to look stupid all over again like damn people gonna say I told you so um and I just I just didn't want to so when people started asking like why aren't you doing a video for Chris no more like why you at Trader Ma's house like I didn't want to say it because I felt stupid. I felt so dumb. Yeah. Like, damn, I really stayed and I looked dumb. So I, I made a song. I made medicine, you know? Ooh. Anyway, Clint. She made medicine. Medicine is what got her signed to Capitol Records. And he encouraged me to release it in New Year's. Da -da, I released it. That happened. Somebody stole my song, put it on Apple, was getting money for it. Mm. So I met Lee. Lee was a businesswoman. Um, and she helped me out. Like, she helped me out a lot. Then we started talking business. And I was like, yo, could you go through my emails? You know, I, I don't go through my emails or anything like that. I don't know about labels. And <laughs> Girl, she, you're she, crazy. Uh, she used to be a manager of uh, back in the day of Nappy Roots. So, like, she had some experience in that. Oh, shit. Um, she was the manager of Nappy Roots. Damn, Lee. I didn't know it was like that. By the way, I met Lee and I met Clarence. Um, I actually went to go see Queen Aja perform. And, and straight up, though, they are some humble ass people. Humble as fuck. And Queen is tiny, y'all. Queen is so little. And she's, she's so much, not to say that she's not pretty on video, but she is so much more prettier in person. I kept extending my New York trip when I was out there. I kept extending it because, I don't know, it just felt so good to be there. I felt so free. I had a friend out there that like, he, I really still consider him my friend. Even if I had had a crush on him or liked him, I still consider him my friend. Because we, we told each other literally, like, anything. Like, 
if he was talking to another girl or texting another girl, I didn't really care. Even if I did like like him, I didn't care because we were not committed to each other. 100%. You know what I'm saying? I did not care. I wasn't like one of those kind of girls that try to force him. Like, what are we? What, what are we doing? Like, only talk to me. I wasn't like that. Like, and I feel like that's why he was super cool with me too because I was not forceful on him. I never forced anything. But because you were understanding of the situation that both of y'all are single. I do feel like the more and more we got to know each other mm. and, and be together, mm. you know, he felt my vibe. He got to know me more. He looked at me as a different person. I, I wasn't the girl that he seen um, on the Smash and Pass challenge. He, he said I had a bad outfit or whatever, but whatever. <laughs> also, the camera don't do me justice. This camera's not doing me justice. I look way better in person. Yes, so, girl. I just motherfucking said that. No lie. Queen. See, this is why I like you. You honest with yourself. I'm telling y'all, in person, she is so much prettier. So much prettier. And that ain't no lie. The people that see me in person can vouch for it. Yes, girl. Yeah, like, he was feeling my vibe. <laughs> yes, I girl. I knew it. I was feeling his vibe. And we just, like, we still was keeping it, like, we still was friends, you know? I know. Um, friends with feelings. Yes. Building. And that's the situation that I'm in right now. I'm really liking this girl I'm talking to, y'all. We are taking it slow. Friendship is the most important thing to have. You want to create that foundation as friends before anything else. With his ex, you know, I knew. I was aware that he was still getting over a five-year relationship. That's understandable because I was too. Oh, so the situation, like, with his ex, you know, I knew. I was aware that he was still getting over a five-year relationship. That's understandable because I was too. The same thing. I'm not gonna lie. When I finally signed the divorce pa the, the the when I finally signed the divorce papers um with Chris after seeing him, I'm not gonna lie. I sat in the car and I cried. And Lee was right there next to me. I did. I cried because like it's not that I like wanted to be with him. It was also like a feeling of like a failed you know, like failure. Right? I don't know what I don't know what Queen's about to say, but because I'm in the situation right now, we actually just filed the paperwork for a divorce. I, I can't speak for her, but for me, it was more so the feeling of failure. Like, damn, my first marriage failed. And it wasn't because of me, guys. Because when I got married, I married for life. The good, the bad, everything. Anything that needed work, I was down to work on. For myself and for us together. But if one person is not willing, it's not gonna work, y'all. So I finally gave up. And it sucks to be to a to have a marriage and then a divorce. That sucks, y'all. Nobody wants to be in that type of situation. Years down the drain, what's gonna happen next? Like what's your next move? I know that, that relationship was toxic, but that's he's all I knew. Mm. Like I'm really like, you know what I'm saying? I'm really going through my head like dang. You know, but I know I knew for a fact I didn't want to go back because it was so unhealthy and it was so toxic. And it only broke me down the more and more I stayed. Physically, emotionally, mentally, mm. it broke me down being in that marriage, you know? Um, and I'm sure you guys could tell by just in my personality. And when Clarence met me and seen me, it's like he brought something new out of me. And he wanted to make me feel good. I wanted to make him feel good too because from what I was told, that was a very toxic situation for him as well. Mm. You know? And I understood. I understood, man. Like, you can't... I feel for the men in relationships. A lot of men are raised to feel like they can't have feelings, that they can't be sensitive, they can't cry. They go through some toxic, traumatizing experiences as well. And it's gonna affect them just the way, just the same way that it would affect a woman in relationships. And I'm glad that Queen understood that and was trying to be there for him as well. She wasn't being selfish at all. Get over someone that you love for five years. I totally get that. But at the same time, us bonding and confiding with each other only made us kind of closer, you know? Um, obviously, we did things. I got pregnant. Mm -hmm. I didn't plan to get pregnant. It wasn't planned. Um, I don't check my ovulation. I never did that. That's crazy. I don't know. I just never did that because one, I had a super bad miscarriage the year before. Mm -hmm. Terrible miscarriage, y'all. I lost about. so much blood, I thought I was going to die. I thought that something was wrong with me. 
I thought like maybe okay maybe I can't maybe I can have kids and the only reason why I thought that was because even when I got pregnant with CJ I was having unprotected sex for a very long time and it took me a while to get pregnant truthfully before CJ I can't confirm if it was a miscarriage or not but I remember one day feeling the pain so deep I lost so much blood damn and I don't know what it came from I never confirmed if it was a miscarriage or not it could have been Ooh, and then I was having unprotected sex more I got pregnant with CJ after two years had complications with CJ damn me and CJ could have died damn CJ's heart rate was going down my heart like it was just like I didn't know so I was like mm, I'm scared to have kids I had to have a c-section with him then in my marriage you know I was still doing things and I never got pregnant I was like, okay, maybe I just can't, I don't know, maybe just, I, I don't know. Then I got pregnant. I had a miscarriage. Okay, so I'm thinking in my head, maybe like my body's just rejecting kids. Like maybe CJ was just my miracle baby. You know what I'm saying? And the crazy thing is I, when I had that miscarriage, bro, something in me told me it just wasn't meant. It just wasn't meant. It's so crazy because it's so crazy because I don't need I, I seen a video of like last year I seen a video of me saying something about the name legend I seen a Facebook post of me saying man I just keep seeing the name legend everywhere and I was like whoa this is crazy it's like I was like manifesting it I was just like I seen signs I lost the baby, but I was still seeing the name Legend everywhere. It was so weird, you guys. Life is like that. Um, Life is like that. And then that. fast forward. I'm There's signs everywhere. Everywhere around us. We're just, we just don't accept it. We're so busy and so focused on one thing and one thing only, whatever it may be, that we're not paying attention. They're everywhere. If you guys take a second to really observe everything around you, you will see those signs as well. Clarence. And I get pregnant. I did not think I was gonna get pregnant. Truthfully, I didn't think Clarence, Clarence thought, Clarence was telling me he thought his soldiers didn't march. <laughs> he thought they didn't march because he had never had a pregnancy scare with any girl. Yeah. So on my end, I'm like, okay, well shoot, we, we fine. I think some we slipped up one time. I never got pregnant, so I was like, oh, okay. By that time, Clarence was a single man. Single. We were not committed to each other. We still had a very close friendship, but just doing grown people things. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened on the other side of that, but all I know is like I was very understanding. I never, I never planned anything out. I never maliciously moved or tried to take someone's family away, or you know, I never did that. Like, I, I'm not that kind of girl. I'm not that kind of person. Cause like I said, I know She's how to. I never did anything to her I would never do anything just to hurt another woman mm-hmm if anything I was just going off of what I felt I couldn't help my feelings and me and Clarence we we I think we told a story on how like we we first told each other we loved each other it was it was crazy because like he even felt crazy saying it because he was just like he was just like, man, this is so crazy. I was just in a, a whole five year relationship, but it feels like I've known you like so like so long, you know? Like it feels like I don't know why I feel like I love you, like and I felt the same. I was like, Clarence, I feel like I love you too. It's it just happened. Nobody even meant for that to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like You guys can try to plan your life as much as you want. It's not gonna go the way you want it. It's just not. I believe in the higher power, I believe in God. Whatever you may believe, the universe, whatever it is, God has a plan for you. So just live your life. I'm pretty sure though, like, when you keep hanging with people, like, I don't know. I just, truth, truth be told, I thought we was gonna do our video, do some more videos, get a bag. I thought it was gonna be business too, you know? And then kind of like fade away. That's what I really thought, but it turned out to be different. And it, it turned, turned out, out great. Different. And it I turned really out great. cannot help that. And I really would never. It's not in me to be like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm take. I'm a. I wasn't even thinking about his ex. I wasn't even thinking about. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't know her. 
Mm -hmm. All I could think about was the relationship that me and him was building. We was always very honest with each other too. And we still to this day are very honest with each other about our past and how we feel about certain things. Like, we just got that kind of relationship. Like, we're friends too, till this day. We're still friends. Anything that was said before, um, I don't know, by his mom or whatever, she didn't know me. Exactly. So I get it. I completely get it. She exactly. didn't know me at all. And See? then I was this new girl coming in. I had a kid already. She mm. probably like, yo, who is this lady coming in? You know what I'm saying? And she already knew his ex for five years. So they probably had a relationship. And they had I a bond. That. Right. You know, that's completely that's normal. normal. I get that. <laughs> but as she got to know me more, the kind of girl that I was, her love grew for me as well. Yep. She loves me now. Yep. She loves me. Yep. She loves me and she loves both of my kids. Mm. And she always tells me how appreciative she is of me, how I love her son, the way I love her son. She's thankful. I don't, I don't put Clarence, I don't try to put Clarence, I try to be as easy going as possible with Clarence. I can deal with him, I can handle him. I know what kind of man he is, he's a great man. But I know how to deal with Clarence. I know how to deal with him. And, and I just, I don't know. I get him. You know? He gets me. Yeah. Maybe people <laughs> won't even believe me. Maybe people will still be like, I believe you, bitch. You're still wrong. You knew what you were saying. Truthfully, I don't care what you guys are saying. God believe I you. I know my heart. You know what I'm saying? And me and Clarence, I feel like our relationship speaks for itself. We're very genuine. It was genuine. It was nothing. Mm -hmm. Maybe it started off something different, but it ended up something different. And mm -hmm. that's just life. And that just happens. And sometimes you can't help it. And truthfully, who knows? Maybe, like, even if me and Clarence don't even end up together forever. Things happen. Yes. Things happen in life. But it was never to hurt nobody, bro. Yep. It was never to, to take anything away from anyone. I'm all for women. Like, I... I make women empowerment songs. Like, I make songs about stuff. So, I, the fact that people are saying, Oh, you a homewrecker. And how could you do that when you went through the same thing? Y'all just got to understand the place that I was in from my point of view. Mm-hmm. I wasn't going through her. Like, I, I, I'm not her. She's not me. We were, we had different, a different view of life at the time. Yeah. But I'm a very genuine person, bro. Like, I don't have nothing against nobody. I don't, I. I don't have nothing against nobody at all. Nobody. And I just wanted to come on here and say that for myself. Um, hope you guys can understand where I was coming from at the time. And we're happy. Mm-hmm. We have a son together. I don't want him to grow up and see certain things. I don't even want CJ to grow up and see certain things. But I know he's already starting to read. Um, I'm going to have to explain to him one day. And if legend sees everything else, you know, he's we're gonna have to explain it to him. I don't want them to think of us as like bad people. Like life just happens and yeah. I apologize to anybody that may feel like I was moving funny, but I wasn't. I wasn't. It just happened. So with that being said, I'm gonna go back downstairs and get to my interviews. I have a lot of promo to do, mad promo. Um for my album, my album is okay. dropping the 30th. Make sure that's what gets misunderstood. There's some tea in there too, by the way. Okay. I think you have to listen to the words. I listen will. Listen to the words. I will. Listen to my words closely because there are things I revealed in there mm. that I feel like if you read in between the lines, you would know what I'm talking about. Okay. Anyway, I'm out of here. Probably the abuse. Love you guys. Deuces. I just came back on here to save my piece or whatever and make a bag at the same time because everyone else is making a bag. <laughs> Do it, girl. Right, yes. I am so glad that Queen spoke up and told her side of the story. That video was super long, so when I did edit this video, I did cut some stuff off that I felt like she was rambling in. Because, y'all, ain't nobody trying to see a long-ass video like that. <laughs> All right, you guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.